Hey there everyone, this is part 3 of a tutorial series that shows you how to build and control a Max for Live patch for Ableton Live using a Nintendo Wiimote. In this video, we will review the Live Object Model Hierarchy that we're going to follow. So there's no actual patching in this video. If you already know the Live Object Model Hierarchy really well, then feel free to skip ahead. But some people may want kind of a review. So let's just take a look at the live object model. And before actually we even get into that, let's just talk real quickly about this. This is the live API overview. So this is really important for people who may not really be familiar with visual programming languages or anything um, that's kind of outside of a DAW. Uh, you might be asking yourself, what, is, what does Live API Overview mean? Well, an API right, is an application programming interface. And uh, according to our good friends at techterms.com, an application programming interface is a set of commands, functions, protocols, and objects that programmers can use to create software or interact with an external system. In other words, if you are confused about some of the terms that we go through uh, in this particular video, consult with the Live API Overview. Okay, uh, so let's take a look at the Live Object Model. Now, I am going to include links in the video description for both the Live API Overview and the Live Object Model reference documents here. Uh, so don't worry too much about Googling it, but I'm sure if you Google it, it would come right up. So what I really want to talk about here is taking note of the root objects. We have four root objects in the live object model. We have live app, live set, control surfaces, and actually... We have down here, it takes a little while to get there, but th th there is one more. Um, there's, th it's this device. Well, I'm not sure I can find it, but the, the fourth one is this device. So we're really not gonna deal with these others as much, but we will deal with them. Really what we wanna think, and f think about and focus on is live set here. In particular, I want to point out a hierarchy that's going to be really important for what we're doing, which is live set, song, and then track, and then device, and parameter, device parameter. That's going to become really important in later videos. Okay, so a reminder, uh, which I said in last video, uh, before we end this particular uh, video here. I just want to remind you, make sure you can find your M4L chooser object because that's going to be really important in the next video. Okay, so that brings this short little explanation video to a close and we're going to get to patching again on the next video. <laughs> 